picking hay. Hey everybody, welcome to Bales Hay Farm and Ranch. I am Trevor Bales. Yes, my name is Bales and yes, we bale hay. No, we did not change our name. Uh, yeah, my throat's still a little fuzzy from being sick. Um, anyways, last video, actually before we talk about the last video, we gotta thank our sponsors. Of course, the best, my dad, Bales Hay Sales. So I feel like that's weird, I have gray hair and I'm thinking my dad. What a, ugh, people are like, oh, your dad bought you the farm. Well, technically he didn't. It was great, 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 great people. Cause I am the sixth generation. But um, thanks dad. If it wasn't for you giving me a job, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. PDI, Performance Diesel Incorporated. If you want some BA truck stuff for your semis, you gotta check out PDI. Uh, man, fun stuff's coming with those guys. I can't talk about it, but I'm just telling you, there's a lot of cool stuff coming. So the last video, we were chopped, uh, they were cutting this field. They weren't chopping it. Unfortunately, I won't be here for the chopping portion of it. I'm gonna be out of town, but um, Today they're raking it. So they cut yesterday and they're raking it or merging it rather with this oxbow. Uh, I've shown the oxbow on other videos. I didn't get very close to it. This guy's stopping right now to do something. I figured I'd show it to you. So what he does, this picks it up, it throws it onto these belts and he can control which way the belt is throwing. So it can go left or right. If you remember, well, you can see right here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's like a thousand rows. He just goes right down the middle. You can see with the drone and he throws it all this way. He throws everything inward, I guess is the best way to put it. And then he makes a pass right down the middle and throws them both out. So you go from a thousand rows or whatever that is, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, I think 14 goes from 14 to 2 which is super efficient now the choppers come through and they're not making a whole bunch of passes and they're not making passes with small windrows we call that a windrow after that's been gone through it so um anyways it's kind of cool to see the oxbow um yeah i've never ran one we don't own this one this is from the the harvest company so it's cool to see it Now, uh, there's just a local dairy. He actually sold all of his cows, which is pretty sad. They've been in the dairy industry for a few generations. Um, he still has some cows he's feeding, so I'm gonna jump in the retriever truck, and we're just gonna haul a couple stacks over to him. And he's really close, so I can just set the camera on there, and you guys can kind of watch the process. Gotta walk into the office, and Jocelyn's here. Say hi to everyone, hi. Jocelyn. <laughs> Jocelyn, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Here or elsewhere? Elsewhere, just your life. Um, I'm a large animal vet tech at Midwestern University in Wait, Glendale. You said that so fast. A large animal <laughs> vet tech yep. at Midwestern University. Yep. Any shout outs to anybody at Midwestern University? Uh, practice manager Larry Ann. She's really cool. She buys hay here. Larry Ann? Larry Ann. That's a woman. Yep. That's like a mix of Larry and Ann. Her dad's name is Larry. No way. <laughs> Larry Ann, I love it. So Jocelyn just Jocelyn is working the front count the front counter. She comes in what once a month? Once a month. Once a month. She used to work here for a long time. She was one of her favorite employees, but then she got a better gig. And but she still comes back. Yeah. What are you gonna, you're gonna work on all large mammals or just horses? Uh, no, I do farm animal, food animal. So I do cattle, goats, sheep, pigs. Can you do a heart transplant yet? No. Oh. But we did a C section on a goat on Monday. Oh, that's weird c-section <laughs> so you pulled all its guts out no oh. <laughs> we pulled its babies out <laughs> well, i thought you have to move the guts you can the rearrange way. them inside the oh, abdominal cavity all righty well see you later bye i gotta get a key okay getting a key for chava 
Here's a store. You guys realize we have a store? Anyone could come in at any time and buy some. Look at there's little. Oh, I want one of these on the farm. It's so bad. Kubota, if you're watching this, I want one, like a real one. Clarf Clamp makes a little miniature squeeze, and I want to put it on that. But yeah, anybody can come in at any time and hats, cowboy hats, t shirts, and black rifle coffee, and ropes and stuff. Yeah, anyways, the store. It was actually number one on the list. And you didn't want to go look for it. I don't have to go out that door. This door. <laughs> See ya. Have fun. Here's the bag feed if you have if you have dogs, we have dog foods. There's probably a cat food in there somewhere. Cock food, sorry, chicken food. Uh, horse and cows and all that stuff. Let's check on Drew real quick. He's been, um, muffler bearings, what was it? Yes, they were out. The door, no. the door clutch? <laughs> no, we put a new water pump in this, so we have no problems during the season. It started leaking. Oh, it was leaking? But yeah. what was the condition of the water pump? Oh, uh, it's over here. Oh, looks like some of the first girls I dated missing some teeth there. Bearings are good. Everything else is good. It was cutting, it was weeping out of the, Oh. Weep holes, it was starting to go. So See, this has a weep hole? Weep hole, yes. <laughs> you have a weep hole. Well, a little bit. So, driver noticed it during the week. Awesome. Get to it on the weekend. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. How much did you tell me that pump cost again? $1,300. $1,300 for this old 2000, how old is that truck? 2003? 2001. 2001 water pump on an M11. Jeez it's Louise. Cummins is making their money back on us. So, yeah. Is this the second one? It has two water pumps, right? Water pump to water pump? Yeah, I gotta prime that one first. Prime this water pump, and it goes to the second water pump. To, I don't know where it goes from there. Into here? How does it get to here? Through the first one. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, you guys. Jeez, Louise. So serious. People get so angry. <laughs> oh, that's for the blinker fluid. Gosh, this sucks right here. Our Challenger. It's got the two tanks that connect like most do. This one, the big one, right right where the, the fuel goes out and they have they go to connect, it's cracked. And so this tank is slowly leaking diesel. I don't know what a new tank on that is gonna cost. Ugh. Not fun. Good thing hay prices are dropping like a rock. Okay, I'm gonna go haul a couple loads to the dairy. And I got my goldfish. This guy got one bale of straw and two big bales. Kind of random. That two story house was built by my great, great, great grandpa. Has no running water. Uh, well, it didn't have running water and it didn't have electricity. Now it does, but it's just, it's boarded up. Nobody lives in it. I did a, I did a YouTube several years ago, actually walking through it. Um, we kind of had the idea we should, we should turn it into the store, but it's right off this road. The road's here, the house is there. A little difficult to, um, for parking and stuff. The dairy wants one nice stack. We've got one nice stack sitting out and three lower quality uh, stacks that you can mix with the nice stack. So that's what we're gonna haul in.
here's the scale we weigh everything it's how we do our inventory and how we buy and how we sell hay as well so this scale it's got the sides on it they used to run cattle in here and they would run a hundred head of cattle in weigh it divide by a hundred so what I do uh oh here it is I just take that number right there and I put it in my phone and then um, I could, because I've got a stamp in there, a machine where we can stamp it, but for, for three deliveries to my neighbor, I'm not gonna do that. He knows I'm not gonna lie, so I'll just um, put in my phone, 25,000 pounds, come back through and get a lightweight, so. Yep, so I've gotta do this four times, so. Yeah, pretty easy. Ugh. Check this out. <clears throat> um, the uh, power provider out here, <clears throat> APS. I feel really stupid. I don't know what that stands for. Um, they're putting in a massive power line right in the bottom of our field. And there it is. That's just one. That's the bottom half. It's a really big line. And you're at first you're like well that's cool they're gonna buy land from you but they just no they they buy like this little easement strip which amounts to almost n not very much like cool it's a little bit but it's not really not wow, we sell candy in the store and sometimes I I get it but anyways yeah so Look at this long line. Right at the bottom of the field. So, yeah. I'm going to get the deal. Look, the old power line was right on the edge of the road. It was awesome. It didn't... We didn't have to do our fields any different. The tractors didn't do anything any different. But now, they go from there right to here. So this field is two years old. In three years, Brian and I are going to have to reconfigure this entire field to match up with the power poles so the borders land on a pole. Ugh. Whatever. And I was really hoping they'd get to chop this hay today, but they said they were somewhere else. Kind of slow. I'm getting in here. That's so green anyways. I don't know, look at that piece. That's that would that one would have worked, but so I called the tractor salesman to ask about the the sharp knife looking things on that on that uh on that bar on that cloth yesterday, last video. He said what those do, the theory is as they're swinging, they're 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 cutting scraping the wax off the alfalfa which helps it dry faster he's like that's he says that's the theory those are his exact words so i don't know whatever <laughs> i was like I, I i maybe thought they had to do with feeding the hay out faster but these big old clumps that's one thing i don't like about the merger it makes these huge clumps whatever I'm not cleaning up all those clumps you clean up those clumps well i think i'm gonna go home thanks for watching the video today you guys Sorry, it's kind of short and boring just moving some hay around and watching that merger so um thanks for watching you know what to do like share comment tell me the best vacation you've ever been on or trip vacation and trip all right, see you guys.